Howdy folks, it's time for the West Virginia Hot Dog Tour. Let's go! Welcome to the New River Greenbrier area. Time out right there. Time out. We have to stop. <laughs> this entire area, this New River Greenbrier area, has over 32 hot dog restaurants. Maybe 33. I can't keep count. I've eaten so many hot dogs that I'm actually starting to like feel like I'm a hot dog. I mean, seriously, how many hot dogs can one eat? I mean, I'm literally turning into a hot dog. Do you, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I'm not trying to get all mustery about it, but I mean, it's a lot of hot dogs, guys. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split this video into two parts. That's right, the New River and the Greenbrier. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and flip for it. If it's heads, we're gonna go to New River. If it's tails, we're going to the Greenbrier. Let's see. Oh, look at that right there. Tails never fails. We're going to the Greenbrier. Let's go. And I team up with my buddy Joel of Taste West Virginia. And together, we're gonna find the best hot dog in West Virginia. We're not talking about hot dogs on the little wheelie thing. We're talking about real hot dogs from your favorite mom and pop shop. Judging is based on three categories, taste, presentation, and cleanliness of the restaurant. Each one gets a best out of five score, three being average and five being over the top. For taste, if you have the average slaw, the average dog, the average everything else, you're gonna get a three. On presentation, are the ingredients skimpy? Is the bun soggy or is it dripping with grease? And of course, cleanliness of the restaurant. So remember folks, it's COVID-19, so cleanliness and safety is a major concern. If it's dirty, chances are your kitchen's probably dirty too. And really, do you want to eat a hot dog that comes from a dirty kitchen? The highest score you can get is a 15, and if you get that, you just might be the best hot dog in West Virginia. Bun is good. Bun's great. It's a good old bun. That's about it. <laughs> the fries are fantastic. Hi guys! Hi! You guys have been in my videos before. The have fun guy. We're doing a hot dog tour. Yay! I kinda like that. It's not too messy. It's not greasy. No. Presentation looks good. It's built well. It's a toasted bun. What do you think about the actual dog? Yeah, grilled. Mm hmm. It's a grilled dog. The slaw kind of reminds me of something you would eat with seafood, in a sense. Like, that's what they do a lot of. But it's too greasy for me. Mm -hmm. It's too greasy. Nope. It's like a ground beef something. What, what, kind, of, what kind of ground beef? Or what? Yeah. Did you order everything on it? Yeah. Just what we call chili, normal chili? Or what? Yeah. Oh, wow. they make it ourselves. Here, I call my buddy up and say, Give me that recipe. Well, they pretty much just give you the ingredients. They don't give you the exact way to make it. Right. I eat enough of them that <laughs> you know, I think I got pretty close. Mm. 
In the dark, stormy night, we traveled the country roads for the best hot dog. Is it? Fireworks. A lot of slaw. They're good toppings, but it's a lot of extra. Yeah. It's very extra. The bun's just steamed. It's not... Yeah. It's not nothing too terribly exciting there with this bun, but... Mm -mm. The chili's good. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna tell you that. Not bad, Country Roads. Not bad. See on the side of the road here. A little nowhere. Zoom. And to be sure that we found all the hot dogs, we call our good friend Chad to give us a hand. Hi folks, welcome to today's show. Again, the hot dog tour continues. This is Joel. I'm Chad. That's right. And this is the hot dog tour. That's like the biggest hot dog ever. Is this like, does this count as a, as a hot dog? I mean, it's more like a huge sandwich. Mm -hmm. it, is a hot, <laughs> it is a hot dog sandwich. It is a hot dog sandwich. That's a debate in itself right there. Comment below, folks. A lot of good stuff going on in that hot dog. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. This is one of the most unique hot dogs I've ever had. I really like it. How much are these regularly? Three. Which is Three dollars? Yeah. That's it? Really it was at this point the drone hit the tree. And yes, about an hour later, we did get the drone. Off to the next place. Pretty, uh, pretty blended kind of runny coleslaw. It was grilled, isn't it? It's not bad though. It's grilled. Mm -hmm. I like the taste. I really like the chili. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, we didn't come for the fish, we came for the hot dogs. That's right, let's do this. So which hot dogs are better, uh, here or Dairy Queen? Here. <laughs> that was quick, that was a quick answer. Dairy Queen is like the nasty side chick, we're the real deal here. <laughs> okay, I'll listen to Mike. Hmm. Folks, a hint to a good English dog grilled, buttery goodness. Toasted till it's tasty. Well, that's what you're gonna serve, I mean. Serve it right. The other night, it's pretty good, right? Like, we've definitely had slaw that was better in the past couple. I think I've got too many onions. It's too... Maybe that's it. That's what I was just tasting, the onions. I was like, wow, there's a lot of onions. It's kind of e cooling it out where you can't taste the slaw that mm -hmm. much. Too much onion. That's what I thought, too many onions.
<laughs> so say hi everybody! Hi everybody! Yay. <laughs> oh look at that, huh? Wow. I kinda like that. Me too. Like that. The bun's really nice and evenly toasted. Oh very good. Probably the best toasted bun we've had. The dog can lose anywhere. They've made for a while. Mm -hmm. The slaw's pretty good. I like the slaw. My daughter Chloe's hanging out with us over here. Say hi Chloe. Hello. She's gonna try one of these West Virginia dogs. She's never had one before. So we're gonna we're gonna test her and see what she thinks of it. So that's not a little kid dog for sure. I wouldn't ask for it, but it's pretty good. How would you normally get it? Just ketchup. <laughs> or mustard, I don't know. Folks, so here we are up here by the airport here in Lewisburg, and unfortunately, the restaurant here has been closed since COVID-19. So, if you're looking to go here to the landing, uh, it's not it's not open. Yeah, COVID-19 shut it down and hasn't been open since. All right, off to the next place. Instead of a regular white onion, which you find in most of the dogs that we get. I do like the flavor of that. I like the chili. Mmm, very right. good chili. Mm -hmm. I've got speechless. This is really good. Really good. I like this. I bet a lot of people in Lisburg don't even know they get a hot dog like that. The chili is homemade, the small is homemade, and then everything else is frozen in can, of course. But that's everything fantastic. Yep. They grill everything. So. They grill everything. Yep. And it's fantastic and we can definitely see the difference in this dog. Very good. Here we are. We finally made it here at the Greenbrier here in White Sulphur Springs, West Virginia. We're going to see if they have a good hot dog. You think they do? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go find out. Welcome to the Greenbrier, America's resort. Carved 720 feet deep into the mountainside beneath the West Virginia wing is an emergency Cold War fallout shelter, once a top secret U.S. government relocation facility for Congress. It was completed in 1961. The bunker, which is over 112,000 square feet, is now part of Greenbrier history. We're in town here looking for the best hot dog, the best hot dog in West Virginia. Where would I get a good hot dog here? At Draper's Cafe. Is oh, here? here? Yeah, Draper's Downstairs. Draper's Downstairs. We're going to go to Draper's Downstairs and try to find the best hot dogs. Downstairs? Yep. You get the bottom steps to make a U-turn, go back underneath us. Draper's on your right. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Wow. Holy hello. Holy moly, 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 so what do you think guys we're here in the Greenbrier looking for the best hot dog found Drapers here here it is I think no over here here we go <laughs> Wow look at this place it's closed closed oh no yeah we're with that taste West Virginia we're searching the entire state for the best hot dog we thought you had it for dinner that's why we're no, I'm, I'm, unfortunately, no, we don't. Um, Nothing they can do to help us make so, like two hot dogs up, the West Virginia style here? Trying our best here to get a hot dog for dinner. Because they only serve them for lunch, so... Again, we're trying our best. Let's see what happens. The great folks at Draper's came through, but we had to build our own hot dog. 
Come on, Joel. I'm making a. Joel's trying to make team. a hot dog here. Excuse me, I'm making. Oh, no, what's this? I'm making a Greenbrier hot dog here. He is making a Greenbrier hot dog, yes. So, I need my time. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a huge fan of the chili. I like the bun. You know, I like the slaw on this. That chili is kind of like a. Reminds me of a Cincinnati style more. Really? Than a West Virginia style. Yeah, I like the chili. It's good. It's like a. It's like a Skyline chili almost, That's isn't Cincinnati. it? Cincinnati. That's Chicago. Chicago, right? This is a bigger dog. Cincinnati. Too. This is a much bigger dog than, than usual. This is good. Yep, it's a thicker dog, yep. It was surprising. It definitely yeah. is not like the best hot dog, mm -hmm. but it is uh, very good. Mm -hmm. The slaw. I think the slaw is a downfall of that hot dog. Really? Yeah. yeah, I think. I mean, it's not terrible, but it needed something. It needed something. It needed something. Maybe the. It, it is a little bland. Maybe I think the, the, the bun, even though the bun was great and the dog was great, but maybe they're not paired perfectly. Okay, probably need a little more mustard, Joel. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I got a mustard on there. <laughs> I think the Dutch house is probably the best in this area. Yeah? Amen. Ah, there we go. No, another favorite fan favorite of that. Awesome. Yep. That just kind of validates what we're talking about. Right? Get me.